Recently, I caught up with the voice of the Packers, Wayne Larravee. He expects a slugfest in London, but the first issue for each team is how do they deal with jet lag and still bring the energy to win a game today? It's interesting because there have been a couple of theories over the years. You go in um, the Monday before the game, you get totally acclimated, uh, and then you come out after the game. Um, you know, really, I, I think what Matt LaFleur and his experience, he's been on a couple of staffs that have done games over in England. And, um, you know, his feeling was, let's get out there, um, keep this in routine as much as we can, um, have the two major practices of the week take place on Wednesday and Thursday, go over there and get there on Friday, have, you know, a light practice on Friday, walk through on Saturday, play the game, and then come right back. And um, both the uh, Packers and Giants declined to take their bye following this uh, experience. So, uh, they want to get back as soon as possible, get back into uh, a, a sense of normalcy. The thing you notice about sports teams, they strive for normalcy on the road, everything they do. So um, this is the ultimate road trip in the middle of a regular season, and the Packers and Giants will try to keep it as normal as they can for their, their guys. You know, Saquon Barkley looks like the running back that everybody thought he was going to be finally overcoming injuries fast and big running back and we don't know who the quarterback exactly is going to be uh at this moment but what what have you seen uh, on film with the giants and, and what do you think the packers will experience well the giants are in a rebuild uh, new coaching staff uh saquon barkley is is you know back to being himself um, there's no question about that. 90 touches already in the first four games of the season. He's been probably, arguably, the most productive back in the NFL. He, along with Aaron Jones and a couple of others that have really been uh, very productive in the early going this season. Um, but the Giants are patchwork. Um, you know, they try to correct the offensive line with draft picks, some of whom haven't worked out. Um, defensively, they're patching it together week to week with some veterans they pick up off the streets. But they're coordinated by Wink Martindale, Don Wink Martindale, and his claim to fame, Baltimore Ravens defense. That's all you need to know. Uh, they will blitz and they will blitz and blitz some more. So it's going to be an interesting thing to see how the Packers and their young receivers adjust to this um, because that's a big factor. Um, Rodgers is going to have to make quick decisions uh, to get rid of the ball. The receivers are going to have to be in sync with him making the, the blitz adjustments in their routes for the Packers to move the football successfully here. But um, it'll be an interesting ball game in that regard. The Giants are 3-1. and one. Um, They upset Tennessee on the road. They beat Carolina. We know what Carolina is. Uh, they beat the Bears. We know what they are. And they lost to the Cowboys at home in a tight battle. But that's a, a rivalry game and division game. So, um, hey, they've done really well for what they have to work with right now. But a new coaching staff, and they're putting the pieces together. Are you more concerned about the offense finally getting going and clicking against a tough Giants defense like this? Or are you more concerned about the fact that the Packers uh, defense, which has played well overall uh, in three of the four games, has allowed a lot of chunks of yards? And you've got Saquon Barkley uh, that you're facing across the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that's my concern. I think the Packers offensively um, will find a way, even if it takes a while like it did against New England last week. It took a while, but they had an outstanding second half offensively, did the Packers. Um, you know, I I'm looking at uh, – yeah, a situation where, you know, you're going to say, okay, the Giants are going to be pretty one-dimensional. And they they have been, even with uh, Daniel Jones, a quarterback, because he's their second-leading rusher. But if he plays and he's limited on that uh, bad ankle and doesn't have his mobility, this is going to be a run-first team, and they probably are anyway with Saquon Barkley. Nonetheless, the Packers have faced a couple of teams that have been limited in the passing game, uh, the Patriots and Bears, and given up a lot of yards on the ground. They've got to tighten up the rush defense, Lance. That's the number one thing they have to do. And if they do that, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll win this game comfortably. But that's a big if. Hey, Wayne, have some tea and crumpets for me, okay, my friend? I'll have a pint for you. I'm not sure. I'm not a big tea guy. <laughs>